I first met the librarian Isidore Akios when I was still a battle brother with no men at my command. Over 30 years in service, and I had not even attained veteran status. I had seen the power of the librarians and their neophytes, but none who wielded the kind of raw power, ability, and will that Isidore possessed. In battle, I discovered that these traits were matched only by his knowledge and wisdom. He was truly a great man. He will be missed. Now I go to destroy the traitorous individual who inhabits Isidore's form. Emperor, give me strength. What news, Sergeant? The Chaos Marines retreated to this city and entrenched themselves. Whatever is to happen, will happen here. And the good captain. I would call him starved for vengeance. But my words are inadequate to encompass his fury. Make ready. We have wasted enough time and suffered for it. Agreed. But we knew nothing of our enemy or his intentions. Bale was someone's pawn. Sindri, he called him. Sindri is not my concern. Isidore is. He has fallen, and he will find me at his doorstep. Now you know the full weight of my original concerns. I must admit, I was surprised that it was Isidore who succumbed. I know. You suspected me. It takes either steel or rot to willingly condemn your own world, your very family, to the torch. I sense the seed of chaos in your midst, and you seemed too eager to uncover this planet's secrets. But I was so certain the taint stemmed from you that I failed to notice its true source in Isidore. I was wrong, Captain. We will discuss the matter another time, Inquisitor. For now, we have an enemy who demands our ministrations. You allowed me to take the stone. You were true to your word, and for that you are a fool. Better I keep the maledictum with me. You are too weak to stomach its gifts. And now, I will use its power to destroy you. Lord Bale was likewise foolish in believing me defenseless. Believing himself in control. Make it stop! The orcs thought more of their abilities than they did of me. But I relied on their arrogance at my benefit alone. Please! You, however, you hold promise. And for that, I should let you die before you prove too great a threat. But. I have invested too much effort into you, and had you a century to prepare, it would still be too late to stop me from achieving my glory. Now I must prepare. Attend to the captain's demise, if you are capable. What makes you think that I will do your bidding? You have little choice. Your captain is quite tenacious. You more than anyone know that. You will have to deal with him, and that benefits me. Oh, and thank you for delivering the maledictum. You cannot abandon me now? Oh, but I can, and I do. At least I leave you in good company. Now, prove yourself worthy. Go, spill the blood of those who were your brothers. Spill the blood. Blood for the blood god.
he summoned. To me, brothers, let us send this spawn back where it belongs. Space Marines, advance! By my command, attack! Follow me into battle! Follow me into battle! Why you? You were stronger than this. I am stronger than you ever imagined. I can feel the universe tremble at my approach. Even the gods know my name! No one will remember you, traitor. I will see to that. <laughs> Pathetic. You were great once. Before doubt addled your will. Before you rendered judgment on Cyrene. Before you murdered the innocent and guilty, all in one stroke. You weak, sorry fool! How does it feel to have slain millions? To have betrayed your own family? I betrayed no one. Innocents die so that humanity may live. I ended their suffering, as I will end yours. You have beaten me. I cannot believe it. I was wrong, Gabriel. So wrong. I thought I was strong. Strong enough to control it. I wanted to use the power for good. For the Imperium. You must see that. You must give me the chance to make amends. To seek redemption. If redemption is what you seek, then that is what I will give you. This is the fate of traitors. Remember this, and do not stray. If you do, I will be ready to render you the same service. <laughs> 